Good day and welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. In this video I want to talk a little bit about how much Miss Pandora you can expect to play to kind of start really getting a lot of the rewards. Now I want you to bear in mind that when I talk about this I did not at any point in time specifically speedrun alts for bronze nor have I specifically targeted speedrunning bronze. You can do what I'm about to show you a lot faster than I have. So just keep that in mind. Now, look at my time played. I've played around 15 hours um, in terms of hitting max level. This character, which is a mop only character, has been played for one day and eight hours. So around 32 hours. In the course of this time, I have purchased pretty much every single high value mount that there is in the, in the game. So if you go here, you can see I've picked up pretty much every single high value mount, barring one or two. So pretty good stuff. I also have bought some of the lower cost ones that I wanted, which yeah was a bit foolish at the beginning. But it is what it is. And during this time as well, I've managed to upgrade my gear a little bit, pushing myself to being at around 374, pushing to 388. I also almost have enough bronze to get myself one of the last three super expensive mounts that I have. This is with absolutely no speed leveling and having only leveled one alt. I also am about to finish my class quests to unlock my ensembles. And we'll probably purchase those as well for a couple classes. But realistically, I've done, I would say, most of what you want to do. I haven't done a lot of the transmog. And I'll be honest, it's not super appealing to me. There are some that are really cool to get. But personally, this isn't something that I'm going to invest a lot of time to get. Uh, although some look pretty cool. I also think for a lot of the times, you know, it's not necessary. Especially since it's Raid Finder, Heroic, Mythic level gear. That I can probably go speedrun anyway when the raids all get cleared out on retail. So, I will say there's probably a couple toys that I plan on getting. So I can probably see myself honestly spending around about another 10 hours farming up some of these toys and finishing up the mounts. At this point doing my dailies which realistically takes me around about half an hour give or take depending on queue times there's me enough bronze but if I just do that for the rest of the time on my alts I'll probably come out with everything that I need. So all in all I'm looking at around 40 hours or so maybe pushing it if I really wanted to invest in my gear 50. So, and that's taking things at an incredibly slow pace. There are things I haven't done. There are achievements I could still hunt. Uh, I'll probably do the normal raid achievement. I will probably net myself these transmogs. So, I could definitely say around 50 hours is what you can spend to spend inside mop. So, pretty good stuff. I will say that four players if you start now there's still plenty time to get everything you want so don't be put off by there only being about 36 days left there's still plenty time left to get what you want and yeah but that's it for me nice short and simple i'd like to hear how long it's taken everyone else to get what they want maybe you did it in half the time i did that would be awesome Maybe you've spent a lot more time in MOP and you're a super uber player. That's also really cool. So let me know. See you guys next time. Bye.